How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Let's Turn 2 and today going to be opening two packs of 2021 Bowman. This is the latest Tops release. It came out on Wednesday along with Panini's Diamond Kings. I already did a Diamond Kings video a couple of days ago so after this one if you want to go check that one out that would be great. You can see here the hobby logo. Not even sure if retail is out yet but in each one of these packs we're going to get 10 cards each one of these ran $13, so we're looking at $26 worth of packs here. And I know the last couple of days, there have been a lot of case breaks of this product, full box breaks, all that good stuff. I've watched a lot of it myself, but on this channel, what I like to do is sort of take a different approach to it that if you were to go into your LCS and maybe you're not wanting to spend $350, $400, whatever the price may be for a certain product, you just want to go out, pick up a couple of packs, check out what's new, and see if you like it before you buy any more. That's what I like to do on this channel, so let's get into 2021 Bowman. There we see our pack odds and the no purchase necessary. Really, with Bowman, it's all about the chrome cards, getting the first chromes and, and any parallels and certainly autographs. Paper cards... Not not nearly as desired, but here we see Garrett Cole, Austin Meadows, a rookie card of Chris Bubik, very nice. Another rookie card of Tyler Stevenson. Let's let's go ahead and save our Chromes for last. Montero for the Cardinals. There's a nice one. Not a first Bowman, but another. Good card here, Bobby Witt Jr. Should be up probably sometime this year for the Royals. Matt Manning. And there's the Tyler Stevenson. You know what? Let's save all of our Chrome for last. Let's get into pack number two here. Here we see Kepler. Twins off to a pretty shocking start, not in a good way. I believe at last check they were in last place in the Central, but they'll probably turn it on here sometime soon. Glaber Torres. Blake Snell, now on the Padres. Yu Darvish, also a teammate of Blake Snell, now on the Padres. Again, we're into our chromes there, so we're going to save them. Reed Detmers, and Logan Gilbert. So I don't think that second pack had any rookies, or unless I've missed it, I don't think either pack had a first Bowman. So maybe that means maybe that means some of our Chrome is, is going to have something special. So one more look at the Darvish, the Stevenson, and here we go. We've got a futurist, Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. Edward Cabrera, not a first Bowman, but nice card. Mario Feliciano for the Brewers, again, not a first. There's a good one. Number one pick from last year, Spencer, Tor Spencer Torkelson. I apologize for that. Nice card. We'll set that one aside. We've got Freitas Nova for the Astros. Drew Waters, and then a, a paper, Blake Walston, to round things out. So, not the best couple of packs, but still always fun to open. And I like the cards, the, you know, the, just the base design. Bowman always keeps it nice and simple and classic. No complaints there. And the Chrome cards, they are very nice. But in these two packs, I'm not even sure we got one first Bowman. So... That kind of stinks, but it's okay because I really like this Torkelson. So, anyways, what'd you think? Uh, leave comments below. Have you had any luck with Bowman this year? And to get those good cards, did you buy a full box or just buy some buy some random packs? Let me know. I hope to see everyone on the next one. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and take care.